Hello YouTube. I had to remake this video because I screwed up at the end. So anyway, three years ago, I saw a fella noodling with a glass pen and he did a review on it. And it was a beautiful glass pen. And it was just something about it, you know, that caught my eye that I really liked. And well, there's a reason for it, but I'll get to that in a minute. He gave the name of the company that made them, and I couldn't find it for some reason. I just, I don't know what, you know, like I just, I couldn't find it. And this guy that was doing it was this noodler, and his noodles were like really, really cool. Like it was just all over the place. So I do noodles and, you know, other junk and stuff and whatnot. And, uh, I do it on paper and leather and wood. But anyway, this guy was using his glass tip pen. And I was like, wow, that is so incredible. And since then, I've actually bought in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight glass tip, glass tip, dip pens. All cheap. All from uh, Wish and um, AliExpress. You know, AliExpress knockoff. You know, and wish uh, and don't get me wrong they're nice pens they had to be adjusted when i got them because they were sharp and they were they were blobby and unflowing and you know but i mean you get what you pay for right oh so now this pen um so anyway three years ago looked for it couldn't find it went back on this guy's site and i really should know his name because i was watching it um but I will add a link after so that you can see it. Um, he's kind of a, and I say this in a very um, complimentary way, kind of a goofy guy, you know, he's um, eccentric, I guess, but he's got some serious talent when he goes and does just noodles. And I'm, you know, he's probably a pretty great artist. So I went back on his page and I got the name of the company again. Only this time I wrote it down right away and then I went and searched for the company. Now the company's name is Fire Spider Glass. They're in New Mexico. And I bought my pen and this is the box that came in. Again, they're called Fire Spider. Uh, they use recycled paper, I think. The emblem is actually raised, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna do this in two stages. I'm gonna show you the dullest part of this pen and then the most beautiful part. They come in a nice package. The tip is actually wedged into this piece of foam, which will protect it. Um, I had no need to do any um, adjusting to the tip of this pen. It just ran absolutely smooth and perfect right from the box. Um, here is the tip, the nib. And that's just beautiful. And then you get to the stem, which is nicely shaped and very comfortable. And I mean, extremely, extremely comfortable. And then we come to the artwork. I have an affinity for jellyfish. I love jellyfish. And um, I, I couldn't, I've, I've already ordered a second one. Like I actually paid for it already. It's going to be shipped out. Um, so I did this. Now, when you dip a pen, right, um, you get a, a full dip and then you get half dips and quarter dips and whatnot. But this from here, up is a full dip. I only dipped to here. And then I did it again. So there's two of those dips. So it's not even a full dip. And this is what I got. All this with just barely a full dip. And very straw. Fire Spiders logo. 
the jellyfish. Fire Spiders logo again. A noodle. A thank you, Skylar. And a whole bunch of writing. Now, if you look at that writing, you're going to see there's no blow ups. You know, there's a thick line there because I went over that line and I went out. So it was down and then I went out. So that's why that's the way. But you look at these lines, I mean, they're all perfect. So just to give you a little quick demonstration on how smooth these pens are and how nice they are. You know, like barely any on there. So it's just so smooth. You know, you can't go wrong with something that, you know, yes, they cost a little bit of money, you know, not that bad, you know, considering all the work. And he does have a YouTube site. And uh, I'll also put a link in that. But I mean, they're just so perfect. Like when they're writing, they're so smooth. There's uh, no grabbing to the paper. There was no need to adjust out of the box. And they're just smooth. Right? So, let me say this in closing. Skylar's craftsmanship is on the money. It's spot on. These are worth the amount that you spend. I mean, you can pay $300 and get a really junky pen. Or you could go to Skylar and pay a lot less than $300 and get some amazing pens. Now, <clears throat> I don't normally endorse things, but I mean, I've only got a couple of videos up as well. But, uh, you know, when I find something I really like, I get really excited. Just look at the Ultra Saber unboxing when I got uh, Luke Saber with sound. I was pretty darn excited about that. Kind of looked like a gomer. <laughs> but this pen, this pen. I, you know, they're great. They're beautiful. They're functional. They're comfortable. They write beautifully. So I guess I only have one thing to say. If you want a good glass dip pen, go to Fire Spider Glass and buy one. If you don't, yeah, just keep buying them from Wish and Ally Express. Um, and I also want to say thank you, Skylar. Thank you so much for being you. I mean, all the interactions we've had, it's always been pleasant. It's always been wonderful. Um, you're a great guy. Your talent is crazy, crazy out there. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys all have a great day. Bye for now.